It looks like Beto O'Rourke is going to declare his candidacy as a Democrat for president. Uh, this after 12, after six years, just three terms in the House of Representatives, during which he has accomplished absolutely nothing. And uh, O'Rourke himself, when he ran for Senate, failed to cite any achievements that he could credit to himself. Uh, literally none. The only thing he did was to run for the Senate, raise a lot of money, and lose the race. Uh, and now he wants to be president and thinks that he has the judgment and maturity and uh, integrity to vie for the office. He's running and they're casting him as a moderate, saying that he's going to be more moderate than the field of extreme leftists who are now running. But you can't get farther left than O'Rourke. Uh, he supports Medicare for all, uh, free tuition. Uh, he says that he wants to consider the abolition of ICE. Uh, he wants legalization of pot for all uses. And he introduced a resolution in the El Paso, El Paso City Council, in which he served before going to Congress, uh, to give serious consideration and study to legalizing all drugs, including heroin and cocaine. And he said, quote, that may be the way we want to go, unquote. Uh, but now he's running, and his record is open to scrutiny and fair game. That record includes a criminal conviction of his family store, a furniture store in El Paso, uh, which in 2005 was convicted, the store was, the family was in effect, of structuring uh, payments of $630,000 so they would not get reported to the IRS. It was a furniture store, and some customer walked in and spent $630,000 over a short period of time in cash to buy furniture. And uh, their crime, his mother's in particular, was to take the money in in increments of twenty to 50000 and then divide it into piles of less than 10000 each and report those as separate transactions so they would not go before the IRS. Uh, they paid the taxes on it, but it was an effort to avoid disclosure. Okay, now I ask you, who pays $700,000 of cash for furniture over a period of time and then wants to hide it from the IRS? Is it an honest customer looking to redo his living room? Uh, or is it somebody who's trying to launder money? Could it be somebody involved with drugs, somebody involved with organized crime? The family has refused to identify the customer. And because the uh, charges are brought in El Paso, where O'Rourke's father was the political boss and presided over the whole operations of the town, including some fairly sleazy stuff, uh, they have not been forthcoming in identifying the person and the, and the authorities have not required them to do so. But it gives a serious pause. O'Rourke's role in the store is that he owned the property the store was located on. And this took place when he was 25 years old, uh, certainly an adult and certainly uh, accountable for his actions. The other story is one more personally about Beto O'Rourke. <clears throat> when he was 26 years old, not 17 or 18, but 26, 20 years ago, he was arrested for DUI. <clears throat> this was some DUI. He was driving at, at the speed limit was 75 miles an hour, and he was driving way above the speed limit according to a car that he passed. And he swerved, struck a truck, and flipped, went into the median strip and landed on the other side facing the oncoming traffic. Uh, the uh, car that he passed uh, pulled over and saw that O'Rourke was trying to leave the scene of the accident and he went and blocked him so he couldn't leave the scene and waited with him until the press until the police arrived so he should have been charged with leaving the scene of an accident but he was not in part because of his father's power in the El Paso jurisdiction and he was hit with a simple DUI and he uh, attended rehab facilities for a few months and uh, never served time uh, for it 
Uh, but does a person that does this have the integrity and the maturity to be president of the United States? Uh, we're not talking about a casual DUI. We're talking about being so incapacitated, likely driving 90 or 100 miles an hour, uh, that he literally lost control of the car, struck a truck, and flipped over the median to the other side, landing facing the oncoming traffic, uh, and then attempted to leave the scene. Both of these episodes, the one suggesting individual immaturity and the other suggesting potentially a history of family involvement with some very unsavory elements, uh, is something that we need to explore as we learn about Beto's candidacy for president. Today's Lunch Alert is sponsored by the Patriot Gold Group. They say it's the Patriot Gold Group, but it really could as much be the Patriot Silver Group. Silver has been a, a, is about to embark on an incredible run, analysts are saying. Uh, some say that it'll be a five-year bull run, uh, which is a good thing, a, a bull run, not a losing battle. Uh, they say that, uh, they point out that sales of silver American Eagle coins, one ounce, have doubled since last year, from one million to two million a year, and that the U.S. Mint has suspended sales because the demand is outpacing the supply. So the people at Patriot Gold Group urge you to call and convert your IRA into a gold and silver IRA. You can do that without tax penalty. Just call the number on the screen or go to patriotgoldgroup.com. This is literally, according to the experts, the bottom rung of an escalator that's going to move up fairly sharply in the coming years, coming months, coming weeks. Thanks.